Hi, how's it going? It's been worse. Could I ask you a few questions? Sure. I'm not too busy at the moment. What can you tell me about voodoo? Voodoo? <laughs> I don't believe in it myself. I invented a drink once called Lavo's Tomb. But it wasn't very popular. Some people do believe, though. Even some of our regulars here at Napoleon House. What do you know about the voodoo murders? It's all over the papers. Some kind of serial killings. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Greatest city in the world. I'd never want to live anywhere else. Do you know anything about snakes? What about them? Oh, just anything. Man, you ask the weirdest questions. I don't know anything about snakes. What's the significance of St. John's Eve? All I know is it's some kind of voodoo holiday. Does the phrase cabri sans car mean anything to you? You know what goes in it? I don't think it's a drink. Oh, then I probably don't know anything about it. Have you ever heard of Marie Laveau? Sure. She's kind of the patron saint of voodoo in New Orleans. Don't know too much about her, but tourists sure get off on all that stuff. Can you tell me anything about a secret voodoo hound fool? Are you kidding? Around here? Hope they aren't serving drinks. Well, if they are, I don't think anyone in his right mind would want one. Do you know anything about animal masks? Come Mardi Gras, you see all kinds of masks in here. Do you know anything about Veves? Never heard of it. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? Never heard of it. Tell me about yourself. A good bartender listens to other people's life stories without telling his own. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? This crowd, the ones you see, are mostly regulars. That guy and girl in the corner come here a lot. When they're not fighting, they're all over each other. In other words, they're in love. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? See those old guys at the chess table? That's Sam and Marcus. They played every day for 20 years. Sam, the one with the purple jacket, he's lost every one of those games. It's not that he's a bad player. I've seen him beat guys twice as good as Marcus. But Marcus has Sam so psyched out, he loses his nerve every time. By the way, Sam, the chess player, he's into that voodoo stuff. He's always talking about spells and gree-gree and stuff. Really? Thanks. Tell me about the street musicians around here. I like music as much as the next guy, but they get pretty monotonous sometimes, you know? Like that drummer right outside. They say there's been a drummer outside Napoleon House since the day it opened. I like drums, but this character really gets on my nerves. It sounds like the same thing over and over. I just want to say, enough already. Sounds like my life. So what has Sam told you about voodoo? Well, about 50 years ago, Sam was too shy to talk to this pretty girl he was in love with. He went to a voodooine and had her make him a love charm. It was a little pouch that he had to bury under the girl's front porch. Well, he buried the pouch, and the next day, he went up and talked to the girl. And, sure enough, she didn't reject him. Now she's his wife. <laughs> Poor guy. 